Hi, I'm going to be using Firebase to call a backend Web3 function. I'm making a zero knowledge card game and I need a third party to fairly deal out the cards and I'll be using Firebase to achieve that. So let's get started with some functions for Firebase. Okay, so Firebase functions getting started. So create a Firebase project. I have done that. Set up JS node and Firebase command line interface. You'll need Node.js to write functions and you'll need Firebase command CLI. Firebase CLI Linux copy paste run. Log in and test Firebase command line interface. After installing you must authenticate. Log in. List projects. Yep. Initialize. So I have this structure. Import the required modules and start adding code as desired. Let's try this example function. Emulate execution of the functions. Firebase emulators start. So now if I send a curl with a query string with the item text to this URL, there should be a log come up here. So text. So now it will simply be a case of writing my own function with my own functionality. So here's the filled out function get the game ID which is passed as part of the query string query how many items in the fire store equal to the game ID passed as a query string if the count is zero then it's safe to proceed otherwise return a error assuming it is a valid game ID we can generate a hand of cards along with the remainder using a wallet address which will be used for the back end we sign the game id and then we write to the fire store the game id and the remainder of the cards so i'll just run this firebase emulators start in the output of the emulator it gives you the url and then run curl url of get hand query string game id and there in response i have the game id the dealt hand of cards and the signature next i need to do the second function for the second player and we're going to get the game id passed as a query string so for the second player then we're going to check Firestore to see if the game ID is in it. So to work with the Firestore in a function, you'll be using the Firebase admin SDK. If you look at the Firebase documentation, it uh, you can work out what to do from the the example. So in order to interact with the Firestore, you call admin firestore collection stating the your collection of documents in your firestore and then you perform operations as they exist in the documentation so if i call this second function get game id get the game id returned the dealt hand of cards and the signature Okay, so next we need to deploy, waiting for your first deploy. Firebase deploy. Oh, for okay, so I've upgraded to the pay as you go plan and added a card. I'm going to put my budget as two Monopoly notes. Okay, so let me try and deploy again. So I'm going to try installing 
this here which I skipped last time is deployed now so the next thing to do is to link it up with a application so with the function deployed we just then need to invoke the function using a fet to the URL in the user interface so generate game ID call get hand okay and here we've got a um, cross origin request error so on the server side we can add the following headers to control the access so a wild card could be used for any origin but in production you're going to want to use the origin of your application front end 403 error 403 error is forbidden so if we go to the console okay so you go to detailed usage then we can get some more information about the function so if we go to permissions and we grant access add all users and under the role we want cloud functions cloud function invoker save allow public access so now with the permissions enabled we should be able to invoke this function yeah there we go there we have some backend web 3 functionality implemented using firebase now if you happen to have a server i would recommend hosting uh, your own backend but for those of us that don't have that luxury firebase offers a cheap uh, on-ramp 